I made through the long grass a going For short shirt thou bearest and no beard I see And the last wind there moon rise about thee is blowing Wouldst thou meet with thy maiden or lookst thou for me? Bright shineth the moon now I see thy gown longer Down by the hazels Joan meeteth her lad But hard is thy palm lass Scarcely were stronger What's grief and thy hand kiss That maketh me glad And now as the candles Shine on us and over For shapely thy feet are The crown on the floor as the barefooted mowers, a mist of the clover, when the ghost note is broken and the June is o'er. And will I follow thee to the earth waiteth the way? Yes, I will follow. Because on the ridges I carried the reap hook and smote for thy sake. And in the hot noontide I swept off the midges as thou laced neath the linden or loath to awake. And brown are my feet because the sun burneth. High up on the downside, amidst of the sheep. And there in the hollow, where from the wind turneth, Thou laced in my lap, whilst I sung thee to sleep. And will I follow thee, to the earth waiteth away? Yes, I Thou art sweet with the sun's kiss as meads of May. O'er the rocks of the waste, o'er the water and fire, will I follow thee, love, till earth waneth away. Okay, what we're looking at here is, uh, this is a woodcut by Edward Byrne Jones, who was a Pre-Raphaelite artist of the 19th century. The book is The Well at the World's End, uh, which was probably the greatest fantasy written before The Lord of the Rings. And uh, William Morris, who wrote this, was considered by many people to be the originator of the heroic fantasy, the modern heroic fantasy. And this was printed by William Morris on the Kelmscott Press.